this is a small boring head that I have. It's uh, very precise with fine adjustment. It has a carbide tool in it. Um, so a good rule of thumb that I learned recently is, uh, you know, use 200 surface feet per minute um, for carbide cutting tools. And then to calculate the uh, speed that you should run the spindle, you take that 200 times um, this constant factor of 3.82 and then divide it by the diameter of your tool. <clears throat> In this case, it's the diameter that I'm boring it to, which is about three eighths of an inch. So I'll just do this on the calculator here. 200 times 3.82 equals seven. Thought it would be nice to show how the power feed works on the quill on a, on a manual mill such as this one. Yeah, even the bridge ports, the other brands are all pretty similar. Um, you, as this turns, um, you can see that the mill is raising up can see the hand crank turning. Well, this will be powered when I'm running, but um, there's also a nice feature here since my boring head is too, it's a little bit too short to clear the one inch. Um, I need to stop it ahead of time. So if you look here, I'm gonna go, I have this stop here and the way this works is as this thing is turning, it comes down and then it disengages. There's a, you can see the, this whole thing here moves if you watch. Yeah, and this, this disengages it. So now it's re-engaged. Um, but if you watch and listen, so as I'm cutting at 2000 RPMs, that snap is it's where it's gonna turn it off. Uh, I don't want to make a mistake and go too deep with this boring head. So the other part about it is you have to choose how much feed per revolution. Um, and I have it in the three thousandths of an inch per revolution over there. Um, and then I need to take this and engage. I gotta turn the turn the spindle a little bit to do that. Um, now I've got it locked in and now it's it's ready to use this in power feed. So the way that it goes up and down is you pull out on it and then it'll feed the wheel clockwise and then you can press this in and then it'll reverse the direction. So you'll see this in the video when I'm running the machine, but I just wanted to explain this power feed quill option. Pull this lever, and then you have to get to the dial. Okay, there we go. Looking good so far. Okay, now I can reverse it. I press in like that, and I'll back out of the hole. There's less tool pressure now, so I might get a little bit of a very small material removal on the way up. Now I can let this go up and I'll show you here. It's about to hit that uh, hard uh, stop and then it'll shut it off again. I didn't fit, but it's, it's snug, so not much play. Um, I'm happy with that.
This is the indicator that I'm using to check square. Um, I want to show how this works a little bit closer. Um, this is a base for a star surface gauge holder. It's got these pins that can go up. So when I put it on the other side of here, I'm hooking it on those pins and I'm pulling it into that corner. The other thing that this has got is when you turn this, it, it pivots, there's a pivot right here and there's a spring right there that you can see. That allows me to get the zero point dialed in. The indicator goes clockwise when it's getting pushed in and it goes counterclockwise when it's pulling out. I'm zero down here and we are at two and a half counterclockwise. So that means it's going back right now. Okay, I wanna show how this cam works. If I turn it just a little bit, I can go that way, you can see on the needle, or I can go back the other way. So that is where I want it right there. One last check. So I'm at, I'm at zero down there. And I work my way up. Look at that, beautiful. Still at zero. So I have this thing straight and locked down. Here is the rigidity test. I've now got my gussets and my back plate, everything mounted. I have this thing dialed in. It's perfectly perpendicular. Let's pull on it again with 50 pounds and see how much the needle moves. Uh, when I did this before without the gussets, I had 50 thousandths of movement over 50 pounds. And okay, I'm getting two thousandths, if you can see the needle. Let's try it this way. Okay, I'm getting five thousandths that way. I think the 50 was was this way so okay so I am literally 10 times more rigid that I'm, I'm very happy with that